uh, the the astrotev dr bernard oko boy and steven apia 11. oko boy 11 and steven apia 11 will be playing in teshi tomorrow hopefully i should be there to watch them as they play on the brand new com uh, commissioned astrotev magdan teshi sports complex and uh, shouts to robert coleman and the team for putting this up as well hey ghana gas also has something special coming up and uh, we want to acknowledge all of it, it I'm, I'm happy for sports development so vice president dr balmia will be there steven apia will be there oko boy will be there oko boy for those who don't know oko boy plays uh great football and um it's important that we go and support them as much as we can also i'd like to mention dr k asante of uh, ghana gas they also have uh, ghana cars uh, astrotef that's it so Today, I didn't come to talk plenty about uh, Oko Boy and the rest. I came to talk about the issues going on at Kolebu. But you remember that on Wednesday, we had told you about the situation at the La Badi Beach Resort. La Badi Beach Resort. How dirty the place was. We asked the question whether the president has been able to fulfill his promise of making Accra the cleanest city in Africa by the end of his four-year term, now he says by the end of his tenure, next year is the end of his tenure, and the Labadi Beach, after rain on Friday, was very, very dirty until Tuesday and Wednesday, but they started cleaning it. I can report to you now that the Labadi Beach has been cleaned largely. So, so to show them the, the images, La, Labadi Beach, yeah, they've been cleaned. That's, that's, the, that's what it looked like before, and we spoke about it here. Of course, when you speak about things like this, you get calls. Calls from interested parties, come from uh, party people, come from assembly, come from whoever it is. They will call you and ask you, why didn't you talk to us? I don't need to talk to you when I see Bola. Because it is your job to clean the Bola. And I'm happy that since we spoke about it, we have gone to clean the Bola. Please show them the, the cleaned up space. And yesterday, one of our fans sent it to me that a friend of his who is also, uh, you know, went to the beach, actually saw it and, and shared with it. So this is how Labadi Beach looks like. Uh, today they have cleaned the place they have cleaned the place do we have a video of nana dodanko and kufuado uh, in an interview with paul adumotri talking about the things that are not going right in this country and the fact that things have to be made better he spoke before then as a candidate of the new patriotic party hoping to be president now he has had a benefit of almost two terms i want to play back that video to mr president and ask him whether or not he still stands by the things he did because in that video he's talk about how much we have borrowed how the you don't have jobs etc etc if we don't have it we can we can shove it and come for okay it's ready let's let's play especially the young people of this country this election more than any is about their future mm. we've had a government that in the last five years has mortgaged the future of this country on the spree of borrowing that has now put us what in the is uh, uh, a country of high risk debt distress which uh, has ballooned our our stock of of indebtedness and compromising very much the future of our country and it is that more than anything else that has brought about the the bailout the contraction of the fiscal space that we're required to be able to do those important capital investments in our infrastructure to open up our country and make our country ready for serious business that is what has been compromised by this administration so the young people of that they have no jobs i think the highest levels of unemployment in our history are what we're witnessing now um, if any group of people should come forward to back the demand for change is the young people of ghana and they are the people that i am directing my campaign to that their future is under threat and that together with me and the mpp we can build a stronger future in ghana we can build a future of a ghana that works that has an economy that works and is capable of generating the hundreds of thousands of jobs that they want and together we can turn this country around i believe that 
for me, that is what this election is about. Because where we are now, we are not in a good place. As mm. This was Nana Dodankwe Kufuado looking to become president of the republic. He was talking big and tough. After seven years, what does he have to show? All the things he spoke about, which he said people have borrowed money and that the money they have borrowed is what is crippling us. He has borrowed more than double. In fact, triple the amount that are already has been borrowed by Nkrumah and everybody put together up until John Mahama. He has borrowed more. What does he have to show? Because this morning as I speak to you, people who have kidney issues are crying. They are crying. Show me. I told you that people will die if we are not wise enough as a country to do something about kidney dialysis. One session that used to cost 380 cities now moved up to 765.42. I've spoken about this all week. And I will speak about it until it changes. So this was the notice I put up. And I've seen that other media houses have taken it and they are... They are going on and on and on. But we started it here. Everybody knows it. The whole of Ghana, the whole world who watched on this by, they know it. That we started it here. Now, yesterday, interestingly, the Kolebu Teaching Hospital issued a statement. Put it up for me, please. The Kolebu Teaching Hospital. They said, well, news release. Subject, proposed price adjustment for renal dialysis yet to be approved. Release immediate. This is to inform the general public and our patients that a price review proposal presented by the renal dialysis unit is yet to receive consideration and approval by the management of Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Any proposal, a proposed fee, will be forwarded to Parliament through the Ministry of Health for approval. It is only after the parliamentary approval that any revised fees will be implemented. The hospital management appreciates the challenges confronting renal dialysis patients. We will continue, as we have done over the years, to collaborate with stakeholders and philanthropists to help subsidize dialysis reagents and services for the treatment of many patients. An outstanding example of this is the First Care Group, which has provided free dialysis services over the past eight years with more than 200 patients benefiting yearly, a gesture that has tremendously improved the uh, survival rate and quality of life of our renal patients. Management will continue to keep the welfare of our renal patients at the center of any discussions, and we welcome any other support from public-spirited individuals' organizations in this regard. Thank you. Issued by the management of the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, Wednesday, September 27, 2023. Please go up a bit. Let's see the signature. There's a signature I showed you earlier, a signature of the CEO of Kolebu, who is also doubling as the head of the plastic surgery department. And you know what? <clears throat> as director of the plastic surgery department, he is supposed to report to the CEO. That's the system Bernard Okoboy, now at the NIA, as board chairman, set up at Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Watch the signature very well. Right? So directors are supposed to report to the CEO. That's a system Bernard Okoboy set up. Now, this CEO at Kolebu Teaching Hospital is also the head of the plastic surgery unit. So he's taking allowance as director of the plastic surgery unit and he's taking allowance as CEO whenever they meet. No be me to come. Their own people said it. Now, how do you report to yourself? Write a memo to yourself. And I showed you just this week how he was going on leave. No, last week, how he was going on leave. And he wrote for somebody to take over. And then he wrote to say that he is also going on leave. One person. Ajana one, Ajana two kind of like. And I've asked our labor consultants in this country to speak up. None of them have spoken up. Are their mouths full? I don't know. It, is there conflict of interest? I don't know. So this is the statement that Kolebu Teaching Hospital put up. And they said that, oh, they, they are not charging the new fees. Savia is on the phone line. She's a relative of one of the patients who had been charged the new fees. Sylvia, good morning. Good morning. And how are you this morning? I'm good. Very good. So good. Great. Tell me your story. What is your story at Kolebu? Uh, so, uh, I took my 
Say, so, guy, you have to speak up for me. Right. Mm. Sorry. I took my sister there and I was sad. All the time I was paying 308 for the dialysis. But the last time that I took her, the receipt I'm having yesterday was 755.42. And it really hurt me a lot because I don't know how I can continue taking her every time again because of the money they have charged now. But they are putting a notice that it, is a, it was a new price that has already come out. So I don't know what I will do about it. So that's my problem mm. that I don't know how to take my sister there every time mm. because of the increase of the price. Can you afford this 765.42 Ghana cities? No, I can't. That's the reason why I, I even told her that I can't take her anymore because the money is too much. The money is too much for us. And and you can confirm to us that you paid seven hundred and sixty five uh, Ghana cities forty two pesos. Yeah, because I have my receipt. But Kolibu says they are not charging the new fees. The CEO went on TV to say they are not charging the new fees. In fact, after they spoke on Joy, a doctor texted my brother Kojo Yangsin to say that mm. all be lie. We are suffering at Kolibu. That's the reason why I'm saying at first it was three hundred and eight. But I don't know the reason why they give me that amount as yesterday. And I'm having the receipt that they give me 765.42 as the analysis. And they are floating on top, down the re top of the receipt, the analysis. 765.42 uh, uh, first way. Mm. Now, I'm sure that when you take your sister to, uh, to have her dialysis, People talk among their patients. What do they usually say? Yeah, about the money. And they are crying. Not that they talk. They are crying because the money is too much. The money is too much. If you see some parents, they are crying. Because they don't know how to continue paying this money for their sisters, their brothers, their fathers, everything. The money is too much for them. They are complaining a lot. They are complaining. Because the money is too much. If you meet the president today, what would you tell him? Please, I will tell the president, please and please, at least, if it's the 300, even the 380, we are crying. So if he can even put it inside a, a, a health insurance, so that it can help those who don't have money to do it. Because people are dying because of the money. People have all this kind of diseases, but they are dying because of the money. Someone don't have money to pay with the 380, and they are all dying. But because if the, the government put it inside the health insurance for us, mm -hmm. or for those who don't have the money to pay, we can survive. So my pleading to the government that is to check on those who don't have, who don't have the money. Some people say a uh, kidney problem is for those who have money. Yes, because if they have money, they can afford it. But what about those who don't have money? How can they afford it? How can they afford it? So I'm pleading to the government to check on those who don't have money. And even if he, uh, he can put it inside the uh, health insurance, so that everybody can do what, can go and put it there. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Savia, I'm grateful for your, your patience for us this morning. We're grateful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And, and I wish your sister well. Thank you very much. That is Savia. Oliver, uh, Oliver, indulge me. Today is your birthday. Today is Oliver's birthday. So Oliver will be a good boy today. Now, play the PRO of the Ministry of Health. You know, Kolibu is directly under the Ministry of Health. Play the video. I'll show you a receipt. So you don't know that Savior's call is... So you don't say that Savior's call is something that we made up. I'll show you the receipt from Kolibu. And you know me, when I start talking about something, I've gathered all the arsenals. Play the PRO's video for me. They have not even brought any proposal to the ministry for consideration and onward forward to parliament for approval. And what the chief executive is saying is that even at their management level, that is at the Kolebu hospital management level, that decision has not yet been finalized or concluded. There is a need for an increment in the price of dialysis because of the cost of production.
But then, before you increase, then there's the need for a proper procedure to be taken or caution to be taken, like sending the proposal or the uh, proposed price to Parliament for approval as the fees before you are able to charge. But these have not gotten to us yet. And even if it has gotten to the ministry, it should be before Parliament. And Parliament will have to approve that before it is charged. It is in line with this that the ministry draw their attention to the yet. The ministry has summoned for an urgent meeting, and then quickly they are asked to reverse uh, the prices that they have put out there, reverse back to the old pricing as we take a final decision on that issue. So going forward, the ministry may consider whether to add that particular product to the basket of the health insurance. So that was the PRO of the Ghana Health, uh, the Ministry of Health. They manage Kolebu Teaching Hospital. And you know, interestingly, yesterday when Kolebu issued that notice that they have not yet approved it, people started jubilating. They didn't say they have rescinded the decision. No. They said they have not yet approved it. So you can't be jubilating because it will come at you because the government has put taxes on the consumables. So from 380, you jump to over 765 CDs and that is more than 100%. You need more than 9,000 every month to go through dialysis. How many people earn that? Put up the young man's tweet for me. There's a young man on Twitter called Buhari. Yesterday, I wouldn't have spoken about him because I don't like talking about people who politicize nearly everything. But if you look at his Twitter handle and go there and tell him one or two for me. Disregard the false reportage that cost of dialysis has been increased by Kolebu XX. News release, uh, Screamers. This morning, several media personnel and media houses, including... 3FM 92.7, of course, we started the conversation on Johnny's Bite. And Joy News TV intentionally or unintentionally misled the general public, populist, that Kolebu Teaching Hospital has increased the cost of renal dialysis from 380 to the cost of 765.42, which is, as a matter of a, a, a fact, a lie in caps. The management of Kolebu in their news release has Disregard any news out there suggesting that there has been price increment for renal dialysis. The power now lies in the hand of our member of our members of parliament on whether or not this will materialize. Show me the receipt. 381st. Kolebu runs a system called LIMS. Kolebu, they run a system called LIMS. That is the Light Wave Health Information Management System. The Light Wave Information Management System. I am told by my sources at Kolebu. That no changes can be done or made to any of these payments, any of these payments, if the CEO has not approved of them. And I had to black out the name of the patient, the, the, you know, the, the receipt number, everything else, because I know how vindictive we are. So what you see on the screen now is the LIMS system. LIMS, Lightwave Health Information Management System. Only the CEO of Kolebu could have changed it or approved it. So the question is, since they started charging on the 26th of September, when they started collecting this illegal 765.42 pesos from kidney patients, since they started, who approved of it? The Kolebu CEO must come and answer, because this is clearly administrative dishonesty. There are two, two I've showed you, right? You can see the 380 down there. 26th October, 26th September. 280. Show me the one that has uh, they, they charge 765.42. The CEO of Kolebu peddled palpable falsehood on national television. He is not fit for the job. Already he is doing conflict of interest. He's acting as director of plastic surgery. He's acting as CEO. He's taking allowances for both. He's reporting to himself. When he's not at post, nothing happens. This is a receipt. Kolebu Teaching Hospital. OP, they have blacked out everything. The woman is 52. 26 September 2023. 11.24 a.m. How much did they pay? Zoom it out for them to see. 765.42 Ghana CDs. So what is the CEO of Kolebu talking about? What are the social media babies of the MPP and the government surrogates talking about? You are illegally charging people fees. When parliament has not approved of those fees. When your supervising ministry has not approved of those fees. And Kwekwajima men who MP for Dama Central is sitting idle and watching. Because he doesn't even understand what triaging means. He's watching. 
765.42 Ghana cities. They are charging it. That's the receipt. So when what was the CEO of Kolibuto? He was just telling pure lies. Pure lies. This receipt is dated September 28th, document one. Yesterday, I got it printed for me. So what is the, what is the CEO of Kolibu talking about? He's a dishonest individual who was on radio and TV trying to discredit critical media. And that's the same thing they did when I did the expose. Come to me. I did the expose on the Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera thing. We wrote to Al Jazeera. The government up until now has not felt responsible enough to give us the response from Al Jazeera. Then they sent some overfed people to come and tell us that we manufactured the email. This is it. 765 cities. Parliament, they are charging monies that you have not approved. Ministry of Health, Kolebu is charging monies that you have not approved. Who approved it? Show me, show me again. Show me, show me the receipt. Who approved it? Who asked Kolebu to charge people this amount? This is a receipt from Kolebu. Money they, ha they have collected. And can you imagine how many people they have collected monies from? 600, 765 Ghana cities, 42 pesos. So the CEO is a, is a liar. So yesterday he was lying about it. The Ministry of Health PRO says they don't know anything about it. He doesn't work to a so I will, I, will, I will excuse him. But it means that their supervision is poor. So which of the directors approved of this? Was it taken to a management meeting? Buhari, come and explain. Was it taken to a management meeting? Who approved of it? These lies must stop in this country. And I tell you, when I put my focus on you, you will run away. You will run away. Because what you are doing is unfair, it's unjust, it's inhumane, and it is even wrong. It's a crime. You are committing a crime, CEO of Kolebu. This I told you that the, the limbs system can only get approval from you. So now the bedding of proof is on you. You are on tape. Your tape is there. If you lie again, I'll play the tape for you. This is you. 765.42. Yes, put the picture of the CEO up for me. Put this picture up for me. And let him come and tell us again that we are telling lies. Critical media is telling lies. What, 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 kind, of, what kind of approach is that? This is a receipt from Kolibu. And this individual was because this individual had gone through three sessions, owed one, one session, so I had come back to pay. And that last session that they paid, and we spoke to the individual, it reflected in this one. You have already begun charging fees that have not been approved by Kolibu. That's the CEO of Kolibu. You are, you are charging fees that have not been approved by Ministry of Health. You are charging fees that have not been approved by parliament. You are a candidate for jail. You are a candidate for jail. And you should be explaining to the people of Ghana how you are still serving as CEO and serving as the director of plastic surgery. You are a candidate for jail. And I will be on this case. I have this receipt. I will table it to parliament. I will put it before the health committee. And I will ask them two questions only. Why? I Show me the receipt. Why are you charging 765.42 Ghana cities? Why are you charging that? Who approved of it? Who else has authorization to the limbs? The light wave uh, health information management system that you run. Who else has access to it? Boss will tell us. Come and tell us. Come for it. Put the receipt up. Let's see the receipt. Come and tell us. You were busy rapping and running. Your... Yesterday when I listened to you, I laughed my head off. I laughed my head off. You people are just wicked. You are punishing old people in this country. You are punishing young people also in this country. Just wicked. I said, I printed this yesterday. Don't joke with Johnny's bite. Johnny's bite is the people's bite. Let this sink into your head. If you're a friend of the CEO of Kolibu, call him. Tell him that I have a receipt. I've shown it on TV. If the president is minded enough, he will make a decision. If the, the advisor on everything held at the presidency, Dr. Ansiasar, is minded enough, they will take a decision. If Kwekwajima Menu is minded enough as health minister, he will take a decision. If the people at Kolebu themselves are fit enough, they will take a decision. It got to even the point where the PRO of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital had to take a one full...
Water is life.